Lindsay Del Carlo, the trial garden manager for Renee's Garden Seeds here on the Central Coast in Felton, California. And we have a lovely stand of sunflowers here and I want to show you what the next step is after they've all germinated and that is thinning. Thinning is really, really important um, part of your gardening and growing from seed because you want to give plants enough space so that their roots aren't competing with each other and it just helps them grow properly and flourish. So this is my stand of sunflowers. We've sown them all pretty close. They're about one to two inches apart and we, we sow really close just to make sure that we have enough seedlings to start out with. And I have everything under bird netting here because we have birds that would love to feast on tender little seedlings. So I've undone it all. I've taken out all my landscape staples and so I'll just uncover. And this is just irrigation tubing, half inch irrigation tubing that we've cut into hoops and we stick it in the ground and lay our netting over the top. It's a surefire way to keep birds away. So most of our tall sunflowers all require about 10 to 12 inches of space. So I actually take my ruler and I just lay it on the ground and I mark out and I start with, I start with the plant that I like um, and then just literally pull out each seedling until they're 12 inches apart. So thinning is sometimes a really hard thing for gardeners to do because you spend all this time sowing your, preparing your soil and sowing your seeds um, just to end up ripping perfectly good seedlings out of the ground. But it is very important. Growing seedlings too close together is just plant torture. They end up competing with each other and they'll be stunted in the end so you want to give them enough space. Um, so if you don't want to rip them out, pluck them out of the ground and transplant them and move them to other places of the garden. So this is my favorite gardening tool, my Japanese digging knife or a hori hori. And so you can actually dig down and lift them out of the ground and pop them up like so. And when they're, when they're kind of small like this, this is a really good time to do this because you can get the entire root and they won't be stunted. So I'll continue along and take seedlings out so they stand 12 inches apart. These look small right now but they will get really really huge. Some get some get eight feet tall, five to eight feet tall and they'll get an enormous trunk on them and then the root the roots themselves will be about 12 inches apart, so they need plenty of space to, to grow. And it looks like I have some nice seedlings here that I could transplant. So I dig down, get the entire root. And these are pretty nice. I can let these grow up and then I'll have extra seedlings to plant anywhere I want in the garden. Okay, so I am finished with my thinning, and so as you can see, each little seedling is about 12 inches apart, and this is another thing to point out, is I try to stagger each one so they're growing between each other, and so they'll have plenty of room to all grow together. There's enough space that their roots won't outcompete each other, they won't get stunted, they won't get any diseases, like they'll have plenty of air space so they won't be prone to powdery mildew and we should get a great stand of nice, tall, beautiful sunflowers. And I'm gonna put my bird netting back over them. And once they reach the top of the bird netting, I'll take it off because then they'll be able to withstand any munching from birds. And when they're not super tender little seedlings, they are not as appetizing to hungry birds. So here we have a stand of older sunflowers that you can see how big they'll get. We, they're all thin to about 12 inches apart and they're growing beautifully, they're getting really tall, and they would not get this tall if you did not do your proper thinning. So that's why thinning is so important. You can find all of our sunflowers for sale at reneesgarden.com. Thank you for watching.